Hello everyone, welcome back to Not Quite New Minecraft. I just took the screenshot for the last video, and today I'm going to keep exploring. Oh. So I think for today I'm going to go around the 30 minute mark for the, uh, the 10th episode, because this is episode 10 of the series, and, oh wow, oh my god, I'm really drifting around here in the boat. Okay. But yeah, I think I'll go for a half hour, maybe more, in celebration of episode 10. Oh, I got some polar bears over there. Hmm. Now, since it is also episode 10, uh, I would like to mention um, something that I've had in the description of all the videos, but I haven't really talked about, and that is the one mod that I'm using for this series. And I haven't, um, um, I haven't really used it recently. I think it only started like I ramped it up after the last two episodes but uh, it only started showing up in episode six and that is the from the fog mod which I hope some people will recognize in the description of the first video because if you don't know about it already then I highly recommend it it is a fantastic mod and I've been kind of trying to not talk about it as much because I want to keep the mystery of it going, but I've tweaked the settings a little bit and now it's kind of hard to avoid it. I think there's an azalea tree over there. Oh, that's really cool. I can use a spyglass on the boat. But yes, I do have the From the Fog mod installed. Um, for those who don't know, From the Fog actually adds Herobrine into the game. So, um, everything, basically, since episode 6, whenever Herobrine's shown up, that's not me editing the video. Uh, I wish I could do that. I'm really not that skilled at editing. I haven't really done anything like that before. Um, that's not me doing that. That's just the game happening on its own. I've kind of tried to keep a no reaction about it to see if anything would change about it, but really it's kind of hard to, to catch. I changed the sighting frequency and the um, and the delay so that when he is here it kind of takes a half second for him to go away. And I think it really adds some some nice mystery to the game. So I just figured I'd keep it in and I'm kind of trying to bring the the old myth from the beginning of the game with me in my um, my new series here. So that's kind of what I'm trying to go for. I hope the, the last video was received fairly well. I haven't really taken the time to look at it yet. Um, and obviously I'm recording this the same day right after, so I haven't really seen the reception of it yet because it hasn't even been uploaded yet. The only part that's out right now is episode one. Oh, that's a cool looking cave. But yeah, so I'm not quite sure if the, the reception was too great on the exploring bit, but, you know, I'm just kind of trying to do whatever I feel like in this series. Um, I may just go back home off camera because it'll take me maybe an hour or so of travel to get back there. And I don't know if that'll make for the best content. I think it's starting to get dark and go to night, but I don't really have any beds around. There aren't any villages, so I guess I'll just have to kind of stick it out. Uh, yes, I. now that it's episode 10 of the series, I'm still not quite sure what I want to do for the rest of it. I don't know how long I want to make the series. I guess I'll just keep making it as long as I kind of have the drive for it, because I find that a common issue with uh, Minecraft, YouTube, and oh, look at all that. This is a, a beautiful landscape. Hold on. I want to just change the render distance, maybe. I didn't see if there was a setting for the fog or not. Yeah, I want to just get a nice... I think this is going to be a good thumbnail for the video. 
a nice sunset over the over the mountains here. Let's get that screenshot there. And there is a village, so I am going to be able to sleep down here. But, yeah, I think, as I was saying, a problem with a lot of Minecraft content, a lot of Minecraft YouTubers, is they keep making videos on something just because it's popular when they don't really have their heart in it. And so, I don't want to fall into that same trap. And so I'm probably just going to end the series or take a break from it. Because I do think even if I take a break, I'll probably come back eventually. So, I am going to want to do that at some point, no matter how soon it is. And I really just don't want this to kind of outstay its welcome. I don't really want this to feel like a forced series or anything, I just kind of want to make what I enjoy. And speaking of which, I'm going to try to do some other content probably soon, since like I said, my schedule is pretty consistent this month. Um, I've been thinking about doing some live streams, uh, not of this game, but of others, and I don't know, maybe this game if, if you guys want that. But that is something I want to do. Um, generally though, my... oh wow. That's... um. That's one way to wake up in the morning, I guess. But yes, I generally tend to have a different style of doing things, usually. But I'm kind of trying to keep this series separate from whatever else I do. Because usually my, my style will be quite different from this. Although I guess I can do more things in this, in this style if that's what people want or if the, the game's fitting. Because again, I'm just kind of trying to feel my way through what I enjoy doing. I like the, the composters really look nice with everything. But yes, I will probably be doing other content in a different style. Man, all of all these other landscapes just look so nice. Is that... No, those are horses. I keep thinking the horses are pillagers, I'm not quite sure why. But, um... Yeah, I do want to kind of do some different stuff. And like I said, I'll generally be probably in a different style for the rest of it, but I want to keep the style the same for this. Just to kind of keep it going the way it has been. Um, I'm hoping that the series will still have something interesting because of the From the Fog mod. I I was considering not revealing that, that I was using it, and just kind of leaving it up to a, a mystery, but I do really want to talk about the mod because, uh, because it's just adds such a great layer to the game that makes it that much better, especially with all this other stuff added onto it to make the game look different. And I think it's just that much better because of the mod added. There's, um, I believe the channel's name is The Librarian. He has a few-part series on the From the Fog mod, and that's kind of where I got the idea from. That's where I heard about the mod to begin with, and I really wanted to play using the mod because it just seemed really interesting and a nice little change to the game because there's always the fear when playing that, that something will happen out of your control. And I think adding Herobrine in to do that, to be that force, is really perfect for a series like this. But, um... Uh, I made a point to not look up the stuff that Herobrine can do with this mod. So... I'm not 100% sure what exactly Herobrine is able to do. I did look at the configs, but I tried not to read any of the stuff. I just set everything I could to true so that he'd be doing everything he can. And 
kind of shake things up a little bit, change the game a little. Oh. These little moss stone things. I don't know if these are a, a regular part of the game or if they are from Herobrine. For all I know, they could be just a new feature in the, the forests, but I'm pretty sure they are from Herobrine. Oh yeah, there is, um... That is something I, I wanted to do, was add that mod in here. Um, initially, my idea for the series was going to be more centered around it, and I did want to try to make more of a series surrounding just the mod itself and um, kind of showing the world being haunted. But uh, I kind of... I enjoyed recording the first few episodes so much that I, I decided to kind of keep it like this. And obviously I am going to try to keep the horror as much there as possible. But I don't really want this to delve into some kind of roleplay series. Maybe I'll do some fun stuff with it, but that's not really my goal with it. Oh, I found a jungle. But yeah, that's... Um, I don't really want it to change into that. I, After having recorded the first few episodes, I really do like the kind of back-to-basics format that I'm going with, and kind of trying to talk about old Minecraft as much as I can. Now, I want to go to that jungle. Um, it reminds me of the You Always Win series. I believe it was Extreme Survival, something like that. I forget the name exactly. I just know, for some reason or another, the world was more difficult. I think they had it on hard mode, and they had a weird seed for it, and this was in the same version as the huge expanse of oceans. So, they got in their boats, rode across a big ocean, they found a massive jungle like this, and they made a big tree house in one of the big trees. And I think that was that was kind of what gave me the idea a lot of times. Oh, we'll get this bamboo. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that gave me the idea in a lot of my survival worlds to make a big tree house. And now oh, I got some cocoa beans. I don't know if this is an old texture thing or if it's a mod thing, but the Enderman's eyes are different. I'll get a, a jungle sapling too while I'm here. But yeah, I do definitely have, I did for a while have the habit of building nice tree houses. Or I shouldn't say nice, they weren't, uh, they weren't any wonders of construction or anything, but I did do a lot of building tree houses when I first played. Especially on, um, Xbox Edition at my friend's house. Some, some good memories of playing with some of my old friends on a split screen TV. And that was something that I used to do quite frequently, but because I haven't done it in a while. I even uploaded a few videos of it to YouTube, but I think I unlisted those a bit ago. Maybe I'll, um, I'll put them back up at some point, but I don't know. I tried to unlist a lot of the, the older videos I did. Maybe someday I'll put out a playlist of them so you can watch them if you want to. But I'm just kind of trying to keep the channel... I don't know, I'm trying to trying to kind of reinvent it, almost. So, like, um, one of the things I want to do, and I do want to start streaming on Twitch every so often, just for something new, something different, maybe. But I do want to try speedrunning Mario Kart Wii, which is a thing that you can do. And for a bit, I did practice for it, but I've been kind of busy with everything. Some melons here. So I kind of gave up on it for a bit, but now that I've got maybe a little bit more time, I guess I could give it a shot. So who knows? Maybe by, maybe by the time this is out, I'll have already done it. I'm thinking I might want to try next week, but depending on what happens, I might have to wait longer. I don't know. 
Oh, this music is just so nice. Just the music and the walking around through the terrain is just so lovely. I really do miss this of just walking around. I know it's easier and faster to use elytra with fireworks and all that, but I think there is something to be gained from just looking around the world and seeing everything. And I know I've been playing this game for a while, so the terrain isn't as surprising to me anymore, but it is still really nice to see every so often and just kind of focus on the terrain itself. I think there's a ruin over there. Because I'm always looking for something specific, like a, a place to build a home or a specific land feature, something like that. I'm never really just looking through everything just to see it all. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to do now, is just look at the environment around me and just kind of take it all in. Kind of like a like the idea behind a nature walk, but, you know, obviously on a computer, so not really in nature, but still kind of get the feel for what it used to be like, because I definitely did that a lot more when I was younger, because I, whenever I'd make a home, it wasn't, oh, let's see what this cave looks like here. But yes, it was never, like, I never had an idea in mind beforehand of what I wanted to build. I always just found an area that I happened to be in and built on top of it whatever I thought looked nice at the time. There wasn't as much planned ahead of time. And so I think that kind of made me look less at the terrain itself and made me kind of appreciate it less because I wasn't looking for things all that much. I was just kind of looking, or sorry, I wasn't looking at things, I was looking for things mostly. Like I wasn't looking at all the stuff that was in front of me, I was just trying to find specific things that I was looking for, whether that be like a resource or an area that I was going to build the house I'd already decided I wanted. So I think I kind of stopped really exploring. And I only ever, like I wanted to find a specific feature so I'd look on like chunk base or something to find it. Like a certain biome. Oh, look at that mesa over there. And we got a big desert here too. I don't know if I'll be able to find this treasure. This seems kind of far away. Because I don't see any land that looks like this. Oh, we've got a... I don't think I really have any means of sleeping for the night, so I'm just going to have to keep going. Man, that mesa looks so cool. And there's this big old cave here. Man. I think another thing is the the fear of being out at night has kind of gone away. And I really wish there was some way to kind of bring that back into Minecraft. Because everyone's just gotten so good at the game that nighttime is more just an inconvenience. Where you have to worry about mobs as well. And it's not really something where you have to sit inside all night and hide from everything. There's no more like digging three blocks into the ground and hiding in there until the sun's up. There's no more of that, which is kind of sad. I guess you can get the same kind of thing in mods, but I wish there was some way in vanilla for that to kind of come back. I'm not sure. Nope. That's not very good. Kind of trying to get out of this area here. There are uh, a lot of mobs. But yeah, I'm not quite sure how um, they'd kind of bring that back. I think it was more just because at the time no one really knew what they were doing and what could happen at night. But Minecraft has just become like one of those other games where it's nighttime, so that only means the sky gets a bit darker and hostile things come out. Like, 
I know there are some other games where it's made more difficult to see. I know Ark somewhat has that, but you can just change your brightness for it. A lot of survival games kind of fall into that issue of nighttime is just boring where nothing can get done really, but there's no outright incentive to avoid it aside from trying to not be bored. Oh my god, look at these caves. That is remarkable. Uh, but as I was saying, there's no... The only incentive to avoid nighttime is boredom instead of fear for what might be there. And I think that's that's kind of a shame. That's why another reason why I really like The Forest and the sequel for it. Because they kind of bring back that fear of not knowing what's out there. Because you'll be in the woods with your small little fire and not be able to see anything around you. And no matter what stage you are in the game, if something comes out of nowhere and starts attacking you, you're kind of screwed. So you hear everything around you and you can't really do much about it. You can go looking for it, but you know that they can see you better than you can see them. So I feel like Minecraft doesn't really have that. And in an environment like this, the kind of style of, their, of the Minecraft night is only scary if you're new to the game and you still don't really know what's going on with it. And so I think that's why it's kind of become less scary nowadays. Like, you can go through and beat the entire game without even being concerned about night. Or sleeping at all. Which, I think, is kind of a shame. There are definitely some mods out there. I don't really go looking for them actively, but there, there are certainly some mods that would kind of mitigate that and make Minecraft more scary. And that is kind of why I've been using the From the Fog mod because I'm kind of hoping to bring back the scare factor of Minecraft a little bit, to kind of bring back the unknown. That's why I'm not really going to go with any fancy editing to make the Herobrine stuff any scarier than it is. I just want it to kind of speak for itself. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'm not really going to find the stuff on this map. Now the compass is saying to go this way. I guess I can start walking that way. Because I'm pretty sure I've done kind of a big circle. And I was kind of trying to do that so that I wouldn't... So that I'd be able to kind of backtrack my way home without having to walk in a straight line back through everything I'd already seen. Because I do want to kind of admire these big hills and all that. And I'm not really in a huge rush to go anywhere. Kind of trying to take things slowly. That's why I've been trying to not sprint for the the whole episode. Yeah, unfortunately I'm still kind of running out of things to talk about in relation to old Minecraft. So I'll certainly have to go back to watch some more stuff to kind of get back into that mindset and think more about it. Because right now I'm still kind of trying to grasp at things to remember from back then. And I guess I should really just go back and watch all the stuff that I remember watching. Man, there are a lot of Endermen out. I'm still not really trying to go to the end. When I feel like I want to go, maybe later I'll start thinking about it. I know usually I just kind of go after all the Endermen that I see, just because eventually I'm going to want to go, but like I said, I'm not really in any rush. So, maybe, maybe later. I'll definitely want the Under Pearls then, but I mean, right now I'm just kind of trying to look around. Let's see. Oh man. All these mountains look 
So nice. There's a big ocean here. And yeah, just the environment in general looks so nice. And it's so good to just walk through. Oh, something of mine just broke. That was my helmet. Uh oh. It's not very good. Man, I really like the spyglass. It's a fun little little addition. That um the spyglass itself seems kinda like uh one of the early mods that would have been released for the game. Because I was looking back through um, Sky Does Minecraft's old Mod Showcases playlist, and something I noticed was that a lot of the mods there were really small additions. Like, they'd only add one or two things, or it was as simple as they'd spawn in a new, spawn in a new mob, add one new mechanic, that kind of thing. And I find that there's kind of a, a simplicity to it where... Some of the mods were literally just more stairs or flying turtles are added. And it's those little things that would be like small features of a bigger mod now. And I find that there also used to be for a lot of the tech mods kind of their own integral system where it was like you would only need the one mod. Like a big mod pack in the day used to be 35 mods and that was a, a big deal. Now you get mod packs of 200 or so, and... Sorry, I just kicked my cord again there. But yeah, you get mod packs of 200 or so mods. Oh, I think I'm at the world spawn actually now. Huh, I went all the way around over to here. But yeah, the... The bigger mods, they had a lot of big tech mods, whereas now, the tech mods are usually smaller. There are still some really big ones, but... A lot of them require other mods, whereas before, you'd have everything together in one mod. Now you have... Um, an example of it is like the Building Gadgets mod, where you have only a few things added, and they all require energy to function, but there's no way within the mod to generate power. So it necessarily needs other mods in order to be useful. And so I think that that's kind of cool, where now a lot of the random feature mods are more independent and larger. Like we have things like the Between Lands or Erebus, things like that, where they're much bigger. And a lot of the tech mods are a lot smaller. There are still much bigger ones, though. I think that's just a, a cool little bit of commentary on a lot of the mods. Like... Go back um, eight or nine years, see some of the old mods that were out back then, and just compare them feature-wise to what we have now. Not only in quantity, but also for quality. A lot of the stuff now is so much different and so much more in-depth than the older stuff used to be. And that's pretty interesting, too. Because it also shows a, a continuation of development. And there are some mods that have been updated for newer versions or um, have kind of new spins done on them in newer versions of the game. And I'm, I'm glad that these mods have kind of kept up and always been a big part of Minecraft. I think that was a pretty nice adventure there. Obviously, I'm gonna come back and do some more adventuring around because I really did like those landscapes. A lot of the the terrain is very beautiful, and I do want to come back for more of that. I'm gonna put my boat at the dock, actually. But yeah, I looped around all over there and came back to spawn, which was kind of cool. Actually, I went all the way around and then looped back. So yeah, I'm just going to place my boat down here. I think that's where I'm going to keep it. And uh, now that we've hit the half hour mark, right about 
now, I think I'm going to end episode 10. I haven't really made any base progress in the past two episodes, so maybe I'll do some stuff next episode. I think I'm going to call the recording done for today. I might do some more later. Um, I really just want to get some more ideas for things to build. I've been trying to kind of keep it low with the uh, with all the stuff I have here. So, who knows what I'll do next episode. I guess I'll have to find out then. Maybe I'll make an addition to the house. That might be kind of neat. Maybe I'll do that. So, I want to thank you all for watching. If you've made it this far in the series, I appreciate it very much. I've been doing this a lot just for kind of my own fun, and if anyone here is enjoying it as much as I am, then I'm very grateful for that. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you'd like to, but again, no pressure for that. Um, the resource packs and the From the Fog mod are going to be in the description of this video, just like every other one. Highly recommend checking them out. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.